what is up guys welcome back to the channel my name is day and today i'm going to be giving you tips on how i got my first cybersecurity internship as a college freshman and how you can get yours too today i'm going to highlight the five most important things that i did that set me apart and helped me get my cybersecurity internship as a college freshman the first thing I'd like to clear out of the way before I start this video is the mindset. The important thing to, to know is that regardless of whatever year you are in college, you can get an internship. And I would really advise that you start getting internships as early as possible. I think a lot of college students might have the notion that it's hard to get internships as a college freshman or it is virtually impossible, but I'm here to tell you that it's not impossible. It might be a little bit more difficult because of your lack of experience or the fact that you've not done enough classes to satisfy the requirements for the internship position but it is very possible and i would really recommend that you start applying for internships as early as possible so the second thing is when you're applying for, a, for an internship you have to go with the mindset that you're not the only person applying for this internship there are several other people applying for this internship so tens of people tens of people tens of people okay there's several other people applying for these internships hundreds of people thousands of people you never know and the important thing you're trying to do here is set yourself apart from the other applicants. So what are what exactly are you doing to show that you're different and to show that you are the right person for this position? So those are the, the two things I would like to clear out of the way and those are the two things you should put in mind before starting your application process. Now, the very first thing I would say is certifications. And before I say anything about certifications, please know that certifications do not guarantee the fact that you're going to get a job or an internship. but as a college student, they definitely do set you apart from other applicants who might not have certifications and also they get you past HR. So the good thing about certifications is you learn from them and at the same time, they help you guys get past HR like I mentioned earlier on and also set you apart from other applicants. Now, for me, I had my A plus and I believe my network plus at the time of my application and I believe that kind of set me apart at least to get an interview so the good thing about certifications is that you learn from them and at the same time you also show the hiring manager or the recruiter that you're putting in the extra effort to make yourself more relevant in the industry and also marketable in the job market so that is the first thing that i did that i think set me apart and helped me get my cybersecurity internship the second thing is your resume the resume is this single page or two page document depending on your preference i would say for a freshman since you don't have that much relevant experience i would say keep it to one page so that you can highlight all the important things that you need to show the recruiter or the hiring manager that you are the best fit for this position now as a college freshman you might not have relevant experience so you want to highlight classes that relates to the job position or internship that you're applying for. So for example, I had done some networking classes and some IT essentials classes, and those classes related to the job, the, the cybersecurity internship I was applying for because I'd learned fundamental security concepts from these classes, and I believe I can apply them and, and learn more about them in this internship. So you want to emphasize on those classes. Also, your resume should show other skills you have maybe like your certifications or projects you might be doing by the side. I, at the time of my internship, did not have any projects, but um, if I could go back in time, I would definitely add done like one or two projects in my freshman year so that I could highlight that in my, in my, on my resume. So I would recommend to do at least one decent project in relation to cybersecurity so that you can add that on your resume and just kind of show that outside of your classes, you're also doing things to improve yourself. Another thing in addition to your resume is your LinkedIn profile. So LinkedIn is basically a social network for professionals, like for companies and professionals. So your LinkedIn profile should be like any of your social media profiles, but highlighting your professional experience and other things that relate to your professional life, like your career and everything like that. So as a college freshman, you might want to like include like maybe like previous positions, um, like the classes you've taken that relate to your industry and like certifications, everything like that. Later in the future, I would probably be doing 
of videos that could help you with your resume and your LinkedIn so that you can have a really, really well done and well curated resume and LinkedIn profile. And for the interview, Dress for Success. My interview was a virtual interview, but I still made sure to stress for success. So I'm going to show you a really short clip of the day of my interview. Hey guys, so today is interview day and I have about 35 minutes left to the interview. Um, it's going to be online. Um, you can see I'm kind of dressed up. I have pants on, not shorts. I'm actually fully dressed. And um, to complete the look, I'm going to be wearing this, um, this blazer. So, so I just really want to... Although it's online and I'm going to be doing it at home, I really want to look professional because um, it's, it's going to be a video interview, so I'm going to be all suited up. Um, I think um, dressing well kind of gives you confidence and I want to portray that and also I'm going to be standing up because I don't want, I'm a little bit nervous, but I don't, I don't want my nervousness to eat, to like sit in too much because if I sit down, I'm going to be relax kind of that's a good thing but i think if i stand up i will be more confident and be able to like you know stand on my feet and actually talk and engage my interviewers because i have it's a panel of uh of three interviewers so yeah i have about 35 minutes to um give myself a prep talk um just kind of go over my answers my possible answers to possible questions and um i'll see you guys after the interview so as you saw in this video, I was fully dressed. I wore a shirt, uh, a tie, my blazer. I haven't had pants on. The only thing I did not wear was shoes. I had socks, everything. Okay, I didn't want to be too relaxed. I wanted to feel like I was actually in the interview room if it was a physical interview. And that's why I dressed fully. I felt like dressing like that would give me confidence. You don't necessarily have to do that, but that was what I felt like would give me more confidence. So I was all suited up, all dressed up. And the other thing that I did, because it was a remote, uh, it was a remote interview, was I made, I decided to stand up for the interview, right? So instead of sitting at my desk and, you know, just slouching and talking with the interviewers really comfortable, I decided to stand up because I felt like that would give me more confidence and feel kind of more grounded and this is not to say that sitting down and being comfortable is not okay or um, would make you to relax. It was just my preference and I understand myself to an extent. I mean, I understand myself so well that I know I've tried to do things that I know would set me up for success. So those were, those were the things I did in my interview. Another thing is before you start your interview, make sure to thank your interviewer or your interviewers. In my case, I had three interviewers. So I made sure to thank my interviewers for the opportunity to interview, for them taking out their time to interview me today. So thank them, start off on a really good note. For your interview, you also want to know the fundamentals of cybersecurity, especially if you're applying for a cybersecurity internship. And this also applies to other job positions. Know the fundamentals of what you are applying for. So you are applying for an internship they did not expect you to know everything but you need to know the basics and um for that i would research some basic cybersecurity questions there are several videos on youtube that help with this kind of videos um maybe not just cybersecurity questions but also behavioral questions so i would make sure to know the fundamentals so now you don't you have your certifications or your projects you have your resume done you have your interview done this fourth step is one of the most important things that you could do and it's one of the important things that i did that i know set me apart from other applicants so you're done with your interview you feel like you did great this is the final step of everything make sure to send a thank you email to whoever interviewed you or whoever was part of this hiring process. So for me, I had three interviewers and a recruiter. So I sent a personalized thank you note to each of these interviewers and the recruiter, thanking them for their time and for the opportunity to interview me and also telling them my interest in the position. 
but highlighted things that I discussed with the interviewers during the interview process. And also, I would, and during the interview, I was not able to answer some of the questions, but I made sure to let them know during the interview that I would go back and do my research about them. So I also kind of highlighted the fact that I had done my research about them and briefly, very, very briefly explained what I learned from my, my post research. So I set the, the thank you email for 8 a.m. the next day. So right at, right, the, right right when they were starting work or just right at the beginning of their day, they were gonna get my email. So just type out that email right after your interview so like everything's still fresh in your head and schedule it for 8 a.m. the next day. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, not everyone does this, but if you do this, you're showing them that you don't only just have the hard skills or the technical skills, but you also have people skills. You're showing them that you're appreciative of this position and expressing more interest in this position and also showing them that you were really paying attention during the interview, right? So, Cause you're gonna be highlighting things in the interview. Remember, the key is to set yourself apart from other applicants. You need to be doing what other people are not doing. And I know for sure this is going to set you apart from other people because not everyone is handing out thank you notes. So make sure to do that. Now, the last thing is your confidence. You've done everything you need to do. You have your interview done and now you're waiting for an offer or for the next interview process. I would really advise you to be confident in yourself. You have done your best in everything. You have prepared diligently. You have, um, you have done all that needs to be done. Just remember that this interview does not define you. This, this internship does not define you. But if you eventually get the position, great for you. If you don't, keep applying. I'm telling you, it took me over 150 applications before I got this cybersecurity internship. So it's not the end of the world. Just keep applying, keep your head up, keep pushing, and you will surely get there. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked this video, please make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. And if you think this video is gonna be beneficial to anyone, please share the video. Um, it really helps with the channel. If you have any videos you would like to see on this channel, please leave a comment down below. I wish you all the best in your application process. I'll see you in the next video.